I'll take it. I'll take it. It's all right. Everybody, hello. How are you? Welcome to Happy Hour. My name is Scott Tweedy. Very excited to be here with you all because we are going to be sharing some cocktails. We're going to be having your favorite celebrities in here. And also, we're just going to be having a little bit of happiness, a bit of fun, and sharing a bit of happy every single time we catch up like this. Today is very, very special because we have got the very talented Adam Lambert. He is joining us in here. And guess what? I've got a little treat for him. I'll get to that in a second. Right now, though, we're live on Instagram. That means you can ask any questions you like. See the little question mark down there? Ask your questions, and I'll make sure I get Adam to answer them for you. But let's bring him in right now because I'm ready for a drink with him. Let's see if he is ready to come and join our first ever happy hour. Yes, he is. Everybody, please welcome Mr. Adam Lambert. Hi. How are you, sir? Good. How are you doing? Fantastic, thank you very much. Good. <laughs> Whereabouts now are you inside your living room? Is this your bedroom? Is this your music room? Whereabouts are you? This is this is my new office that I never used until like this quarantine. So now I have an office. <laughs> you got an office, you're getting a lot of use out of it. I yep. actually did yesterday at the very last minute dress my uh, living room out here dedicated to you. Do you know why? Why? The plants. <laughs> Your performance the other night, I saw you I, singing with all these plants around you. It was such a blank white shot and I was like, oh, it needs some some vibe and I put these plants around the microphone and now I was like, oh, was he singing to a plant? I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I As a plant lover, I was loving the vibe. I think you nailed it with the, with the greenery around there. Now, Adam, do you have a drink at all? Oh, what are you, what are you drinking? I'm drinking a G&T. I love a G&T. A Any garnish like, in there at all? Any little British love today. Yeah, that's good. Well, believe it or not, I've actually made a drink in your honor and dedicated this drink to you. Now, I know you do love tequila, and I also know your favorite topping on a pizza is pineapple. Correct? You got, I mean, you've, you've visited the Wikipedia, clearly. 100%. I always visit <laughs> Wikipedia. I've combined your two loves, and this right here is dedicated to you. Ooh, what is that? This is a pineapple strawberry tequila mojito. Ooh, that's exotic. But I'm, it is very exotic, but I'm actually gonna name it after you. Now I was gonna call it the Lambertini. I like but it. But then I thought, yeah, I like that. But then I thought, let's take it up a level because you've got a new album out. What about the Velvetini? I like that even better. <laughs> or, no, no, or we can take it to another level. The Velvet Lambertini. Oh, I like that. The Velvet Glambertini. 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 Okay. Well, last but not least, what I'm missing on this, it might not be obvious to you. It's very obvious to me, but I need a garnish. So. Ooh. It's, you what? know, you're in LA as well, right? No, New York City. Are you I'm from New York? It's so hot today here in LA that that looks like the perfect thing. I wish I could somehow transport it to you right now. <laughs> we don't have that technology. What do you want on top of the velvet glambertini, which I love that name, by the way. It probably needs some lime to just cut through all the sweetness, you know? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll put the yeah. lime on there. Dedicated to you. Brilliant. Okay, mate. There, right? What's that? There's already pineapple in it. There's plenty of pineapple in there. There goes your lime. There we go. I'll have a little. Mm -hmm. I ran out of limes. I don't have a lime with my 10 grand tonic, but you know. We've got to send you some supplies before we do one of these. <laughs> We've got to hook you up 100%. Well, let's get into it, Adam. We're going to start. Yeah. We're all in isolation at the moment. I want to ask you some questions about what we've called ISO, ISO baby. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. I was very proud of the name, actually. I was very proud of that. I, I like it. I like it. What have you been up to in isolation? What's been the weirdest thing that you've done in the last couple of weeks? The weirdest thing. The weirdest thing. I I got really like. I got a phone call. I need to turn this on. 
You got a phone call. I thought we, we lost you for a second. Hang on. He's going to be back. Adam is coming back any second. Remember, guys, questions for Adam. Why he's getting rid of his phone call. Questions for Adam down there, and we'll ask him in a little bit of time. By the way, the finishing touch to this is amazing. All right, he's I'm back. back. I'm back. He's back. Sorry. <laughs> no, I knew you were going to come back. I knew you were going to come back. Okay, weirdest thing you've done. Um, I got really inspired, and I started redecorating my living room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess what it's not do? that weird, but I, I was like, I painted a piece of furniture, and I like, I ordered a lot of macrame on Amazon. Okay. I, I, sorry for the ignorance. What is macrame? There, it's, like the, it's like the stuff that you, you know, there's like a, like you hang a plant and like, it looks like kind of like off-white, like yarn and it kind of, it's like a bat, like a crazy yes. for the basket. It, all this macrame stuff. Cause I, I, I love my space and I decorate it and I was feeling like it wasn't earthy enough. I wanted something that felt a little more tropical, a little like. See, I knew, I knew you love plants. I knew yeah. you were a plant lover. And so I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon and um, made my living room a little more jungle. Okay. I like that vibe. I don't know if it was weird, but it was definitely kind of like... No, I, to be honest, <laughs> I think a lot of people right now wish they had plants in their house. For me, I don't have a pet or any housemates at all. So my plants, I talk to them. Oh! I have a pet. Oh! This What's is my pet. This is Pharaoh. Pharaoh. How cute is Barrow? Well, you're lucky. I wish I had a dog. He's been uh, he's been sunbathing all day, so he's sort of sun drunk. He looks <laughs> he looks like we all do when we have a summer holiday. We've had a few yeah. so many velvet <laughs> velvets <laughs> in our belly. Okay, next question. Your eyes. You've got amazing eyes. Lean forward a little bit so we can see your eyes. Oh, thank you. What are you doing for your grooming right now, particularly with your brows? And if you've got any other treatment that you do with your eyes, what are you doing? Um, I wear a little bit of mascara. Oh, do you want to, do you want to get up, buddy? I like a little mascara for a camera time moment, you know. I yeah. think, I've been personally feeling like I've had plenty of days where I haven't, I haven't even showered. I'm in like sweatpants, I'm a slob. And then when I do things like this and I get to talk to people, uh, you know, on, on my, in my office, on my FaceTime or Zoom or Instagram, I like to glam it up a bit, you know, because I kind of feel like... It makes me feel like things are somewhat normal, like I'm getting dressed up for something important. No, I think we all should be doing that. We all should yeah. be 100%. And speaking of which then, FaceTiming or Zooming or whatever you're doing, have you been talking to many other musicians and talking about music or has it purely been friends and family? Mostly friends and family, but I've definitely been corresponding a bit. I actually, um, after, like by week three, I was like, okay, let me order some equipment so that maybe I can like, record some ideas for songs um, from my house, myself. So that's been a really interesting learning curve and a nice project for me, a goal that's like, okay, what, what will I learn after this quarantine? I have to have a new skill or something. Yeah, oh, totally. So yeah. was there a bizarre instrument? Are we gonna hear like a cowbell? I still can't crack? play any, no, I still can't play any instruments, but I got like, you know, a really nice microphone and a, I, I got a new desktop computer and speakers and equipment so that I can record vocals. I'm learning new software in order to do that. Um, I've gotten a couple of tracks from different producers to try to work on. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying awesome. to be productive. Yeah, no, I'm loving, I think a lot of people are picking up a lot of new skills now at home. And my yeah. final question about isolation, we can't have a segment called ISO, ISO Baby without asking you, what's in your freezer? In my freezer? A, we, I, the last time I went to the grocery store, I definitely bought a lot of good frozen pizzas. They're like vegan yes. pizzas, you know, because I, I don't eat um, cheese or meat. So yep. it's like- You need those. They're, like, they're healthy, they're good. I love that. Okay, Adam, it's time. We need to talk about music. Yeah. You got a brand new album out. It's only about a month old now and it's very exciting. But if I was personally to be writing your biography, say in 30 years time, and I was to be talking about this piece of music, this work, what would I say about it? Hmm. Well, if I can be, I should try to stay somewhat humble here, but I personally feel like this is the most authentic thing I've done. Um, not to discredit or downplay the other albums that I've put out, but I just feel like this is me. It's, it's the kind of music that I love. It's the kind of music I listen to. It's me just doing a, a, an album for myself first. 
you know, and, and, and that feels really good. Um, I think that part of the, the duty of an entertainer is to have joy or special passion to the, the, the art that they're performing and putting out. And it was really important for me to do this thing from the ground up and to take a lot more of a, a leadership role in it. I, I produced the, the whole album. I, I worked with amazing writers and wrote on every song. Um, obviously I couldn't do it without all the help that I had, but I took yes. the most active role I've ever taken in a project like this. And it just feels good. So if you're, yeah. if you're writing about this in like years to come, um, I don't know, I think you could say, you know, he worked on it for four years to make sure that it was great and uh, released song by song slowly to, to keep his fans anticipating what was next. And then COVID virus hit. <laughs> no, but I actually, I want to talk about hit. that. Because a lot of artists have been somewhat holding off music. They've been holding off releasing films. You know, obviously concerts are canceled. The decision for you to release it was purely a, a gift for fans right now, right? I, I think, you know, we, we also had like a lot of, a lot of um, you know, wheels in motion. It was like ready, you know? I mean, you have to do a lot of planning to put this, this type of thing out. And all the plan was already in place. And it was just about to come out when things started to, to get crazy with coronavirus. So we, we kept to our plan. And that was exactly what we thought. We thought, you know, people need music right now. They need <clears throat> a, a little escape. And I think Velvet is, the, is a great album to kind of, um, for 45 minutes or whatever, make yourself a drink, put on a weird outfit and some glitter and just have fun. Um, you know, yeah. some of the songs are, are, you know, are a little more dramatic or a little bit sad, but I hope that it's an album that lets people escape a bit. Well, can we talk about outfits? Because Superpower, the clip came out a little while ago. You just released some behind the scenes footage. Of course, your, your dancing was amazing. Of course, <laughs> the singing was amazing. But can we talk about the shoes, please? Because that platform shoe, you're already like 6'1 yourself. Yeah. That's a tall dancing Adam the Lambert right there. Yeah. They're really Is... comfortable. They're, they're Rick Owens, actually. I mean, he's making these heels for, for their unisex. You can get them for men or women. And they're so sturdy. Um, that it was actually, it wasn't too much of a problem. Um, the, the big problem with that video shoot was that it was in New York, it was in Bushwick last summer, and it was like 90 degrees and like very humid. So- <laughs> That's commitment. <laughs> like the hair kept melting and falling and the, 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 I was so sweaty underneath that suit. That was, the, that was the hard part. So right now in your house, do you have a better pair of shoes than those shoes or you can't top that? Uh, they're, they're up there. They're up there on the, I have like, you know, shelves with shoes on them. They're on the top shelf, top shelf shoe. Yeah. No, I love it. Okay, <laughs> what we're gonna do now, we've got a segment, it's called For Your Entertainment, dedicated to your first bit of music, of course. You've done so much stuff in your career, I just wanted to ask you a few little moments. Can yeah. we start with your audition for American Idol, you sang Bohemian Rhapsody, you're now performing with Queen, so it's like a full circle moment, um, which is great. Do you get the opportunity to share with Brian and Roger music that you've written and get their feedback on it? Absolutely. Um, as I was putting together Velvet, I, you know, we were on tour. Um, we did a lot of small tours, you know, six weeks at a time, two or three of them during the time when I was making the album. So I would pull up stuff when we were on the plane together, going to the next city, give, you know, give Brian or give Roger a pair of my headphones. Hey, listen to this. What do you think? And, and they Sorry, were we're really comfortable with each other. So it's, it's a very open dialogue and, and they're such brilliant musicians. Mm. And they've created these songs that stand the test of time and um, that everyone knows and loves and that hit you like right in the heart. So they're very, very good people to ask for advice from. Oh, I bet, I bet. And with your voice as well, it's, it's a little dream combo right there. So then if we were to go back to your American Idol audition, say it's tomorrow, but you had to pick a current pop song, what song would you sing right now? Something current? Um, yeah. I really like that Youngblood song that came out by Five Seconds of Summer. That's yeah. A, that's, a, that's a good tune. I like yeah, that Yeah, that is. Australian also, I think well. I would, I would also consider maybe doing one of the new Harry Styles songs. I like those a lot. I love Watermelon Sugar. It's a great Watermelon song. Sugar is great. I love, I love the first single, um, Lights Up. I love that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, he's going from strength to strength as well. Yeah. That's very good. Now, can we talk about, 
obviously we love your music and you entertain us with your music, but you've dabbled a little bit on the screen. Uh, Pretty Little Liars, Glee as well. Is there a show you're watching at the moment in the last year or two where you're like, I'd love a little, either a cameo or a full role on that show? See, you guys always ask me these questions on air and then it's like, we have to hold somebody accountable for these wishes. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I know you're a Westworld I, fan, so you can't say Westworld. What am I watching that, you know, I've always loved Shameless. I think they're probably, yeah. in their, I don't know if this is their last season or not, but that's a great show. I love the, 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 the levity of it, you know, I think it's funny. I can see you being on that. Yeah, it'd be fun. I would love to do some, something more with Ryan Murphy as well. You know, after doing Glee, that was an amazing experience. And everything he does is so interesting and so good. Um, yeah. so maybe there's something, maybe there's something on the horizon there. That would be great. I can see you doing that. I can see you doing a lot of roles though. <laughs> I want more. I want more drum. I want more like outfits, more makeup. <laughs> the more more eyes. You know, your eyes can tell a lot. <laughs> yeah. of that. A million words there. All right. What we're gonna do now? I've been teasing this um, before. I said to the fans, we can ask and answer some of their questions. We've got a lot of fans in here that want to know what you're up to, talk about Velvet, all that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to have a look at our first fan question here. All right. What's the first thing you want to do when quarantine is over? I want to go hike. I, I love, here in LA, there's a, a great hiking trail called Runyon Canyon that everybody goes out there and, and I have a dog, so it's perfect. It's my, it's like my ritual. It's my, it's my favorite form of exercise. It, 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 it's, you get sunshine, you get some air and you're, you know, you're good sweat. I miss that. And they've closed all the parks here in LA right now. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. I think we're all craving just to do anything outdoors. Yeah. To get out and there. Also, I, think, I think when this all lifts, depending on when it is, people are going to want to party. Oh so my I'm, goodness. I'm New York already, City. Can you, I, or just anywhere in the world. <laughs> I'm kind of imagining like a whistle and it's like, doo, and everyone's just running to bars. There is going to be some major party moments, I believe. I think there's going to be carnage, we'll call it. It's going to be wild. <laughs> it's going to be wild. I can't wait. Can you write some more music when you're experiencing everything the first exactly, night you're out? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got another question. Can you tell us about your Vegas show? What will it be like? Well, hopefully that, obviously that was supposed to be this month and we had to reschedule it. It's currently rescheduled for October. Hopefully that stays the case. Um, I want fans to feel like they're being transported into like an alternate reality slash time capsule type experience. You know, I want mm -hmm. everyone to feel the vibe. Um, I think so. so I, I can hear right now like a big stage production. I, it's I, the thing about Velvet is that it's kind of it's it's a more intimate sounding album than a lot of the stuff mm. in the past. It's it's a bit more minimal. There's less layers. There's le it's it's not quite as um, futuristic or you know uh, modern. It's a bit more retro kind of throwback. So I, well, I love the, Roses. I want the stage show to Roses feel with Nile stage. Rogers. That's exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, like I want it to feel kind of authentically sort of pure with like, I want you to focus on like the amazing musicians on stage and the cool grooves we set up and the, the outfits we have on. And I want it to feel sort of like it's like a lounge somewhere in like, in a, in a great dream. Okay, all yeah. right. I'm picking in up the these guys. <laughs> with, with of course, a lot of velvet everywhere. Velvet yeah, furniture. and you know, at this point, now that I've set the precedent of singing to plants, I might have to put some plants on stage. You have to. Just I just might. subtle. Just a little hint. I actually think that your background there might sort of end up looking like what I'm going to do last <laughs> <laughs> I can help you out. I had to do this all myself, by the way. Put this all together. Listen, you've inspired me, so thank you. <laughs> pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. Well, speaking of which, we would love to know. It's a happy hour right now. and We love to know what makes people happy. What is, and can you show us what is making you happy? Well, I think I already let the cat of the, the dog out of the bag. I, Pharaoh, who's now taking a nap on the floor. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's out. Uh, You're dog, making each other so happy gone. that he can't even stay awake for an interview. No. He's like, no way. <laughs> he's gotten too much sun today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that. And also, speaking of happiness, something that's very close to your heart, keeping you busy at the moment, is the Feel Something Foundation, which you've just yeah. kicked off, which is great. Tell me all about that. Um, you know, it's something, you know, I've, I've moonlighted with, with other uh, charities and organizations over the past 10 years. And I, you know, I really, uh, I love focusing on 
the LGBTQ community, um, you know, that's, that's my family. Uh, and the cool thing is, is that I have a lot of fans that maybe are not LGBTQ, but they're amazing allies. And mm -hmm. I've always recognized how passionate my fans get about the causes that I raise. And um, I just wanted to take it to the next level and start my own foundation. It, it feels like it's time. Um, for my birthday, we actually asked fans to raise money, and I think we raised twenty thousand dollars in like two days. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're really, and, and I think now, especially with um, with this current crisis we're in right now, um, mm. it affects everybody. It is the great equalizer for sure. Um, and so I'm looking for opportunities to help the LGBTQ community in particular, and how they're affected by quarantine and this crisis. So be on the lookout. There's some stuff on the horizon that I'm working on right now. And um, it feels good to help. It really does. No, it's, it's great to see it. And, and the world needs it. We need yeah. more, the more, the more the merrier with all that sort of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. That is fantastic. Hey, Adam, this has been an absolute pleasure for our very first happy hour. What it is right now. I love that I'm the, the, I'm the, uh, the, the velvet for the happy hour. <laughs> if this doesn't end up on a menu somewhere, at least when we're out of quarantine for the velvet, what did you call it? A velvet glambertini. Velvet glambertini. I love it. And everybody, Velvet is out right now. You can listen to the brand new album from Check this great man. <laughs> Adam Lambert. But when you listen to it, you've got to put a bit of eyeliner on, get nice and comfortable, platform shoes, yeah. and really just relax. We also welcome a barefoot moment. I mean, barefoot is very velvet as well because it's supposed to feel like a boudoir, like a lounge, like somewhere where you're warm and cozy and sensual. So, so either, oh. either wear your platforms and your glitter and go all out or like put on, you know, your velvet, light some incense, you know, one or the other. <laughs> Let's be honest, who's wearing shoes in isolation? No, not, not me. No one. They're collecting Adam... guests on the top shelf. <laughs> it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank you and so enjoy much. Enjoy isolation. Cheers. Cheers buddy. Have a nice night.